A transmission line has a capacitive impedance of 50 ohm and a resistance of 0 0.1 ohm per meter. If the line is distortionless, then the attenuation constant in NP by M, that is, it is given in Neper per meter. It is not Newton per meter. The attenuation constant unit is Neper, N-E-P-E-R. It is named after this, uh, the scientist Napier. Okay. So, what is the attenuation constant they are asking? Now, we know that for a distortionless transmission line, the equation can be written as L G is equal to R into C, where L is the inductance, G is the conductivity, R is the resistance and C is the capacitance. Okay, so this is the relation. And from this relation, we can write L by C is equal to R by G. So, this relation can be formed for a distortionless transmission line. Okay, also for a transmission line, the characteristic impedance is given by Z0 is equal to a root of L by C. Okay, and from this equation number 1, we can write the value of Z0 as Z0 is equal to root of L by C, which is equal to root of R by G. Because we know that L by C is equal to R by G for a distortionless transmission line. Okay, so we got the value of the characteristic impedance or Z0. Okay, so this is the characteristic impedance. Okay, now what is the equation for finding the attenuation constant? Attenuation constant is alpha. Attenuation constant. And it is defined as alpha is equal to root of Rg. Okay, so R is a resistance, D is the conductivity. And from this equation number 2, okay, from equation number 2, we can write this root of Rg as root R into root of R by Z0. If you expand this term, that is by substituting value of Z0, you will get a root of R into G itself. Okay, so if you want to expand it, just expand and see, you will get the same root of R into G. So, you can split it like this by introducing the uh, casualty impedance term. So, root R into root R by Z0. Now, root R into root R is equal to is R. R by Z0 we can write. Okay. So, this is the expression for the attenuation constant. Now, in the question, they have given the resistance value is 0.1 and also they have given the characteristic impedance or Z0 as 50 ohm. So, just substitute the value and find the value of your attenuation constant. So, what is the value of R? It is 0 0.1 and the value of Z0 is 50 ohms. So, 0 0.1 by 50 or 1 by 500 which is equal to 0.002 Neper per meter. So, if you are not familiar with this term Neper, just see the, uh, the unit of attenuation constant is Neper per meter. Okay, so from the options, your option D, this is 0 0.002, right? So, the correct answer for this question is your option D, which is 0 0.002 MP per meter. Okay, so the correct answer is option D. An antenna has a radiation resistance of 50 ohm and a loss resistance of 10 ohm. If the power gain is 20, then the directive gain is what? A, 24, B, 16.67, C, 20, D, 200. So, we need to find the directive gain. We have been given the radiation resistance and the loss resistance. So, what is the equation for finding the radiation efficiency? The radiation efficiency is given by the term eta and it is defined as radiation resistance by radiation resistance plus loss resistance. So, this is the equation. Okay. So, what is the value of your radiation resistance? It is 50 by 50 plus loss resistance is 10. So, 
the radiation efficiency is given by 50 by 60 or 5 by 6. Okay, so this is your radiation efficiency, your radiative efficiency. Now we need to find what directive gain. So the equation for directive gain is directive gain equal to power gain by radiation efficiency or eta. Okay. So what is your power gain? Power gain is given as 20. In the question, the power gain is given as 20. 20 by the radiation efficiency eta. So this is eta. So eta is 5 by 6. So into 6 by 5. So if you cut it off, then 4, then 6, 4, so 24 is the value of your directive gain. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is option A. A transmission line has a calcitic impedance of 100 ohm and a phase constant beta 1 rad per meter. The inductance per unit length when the transmission line operates at 2 gigahertz is dash. Okay, so uh, we need to find the inductance per unit length and the equation for inductance per unit length is given by inductance per unit length is given by beta is at 0 by omega. Now, what is beta? Beta is your phase constant. So, we have seen earlier the attenuation constant is alpha. Now, the beta is phase constant and is at 0 is your characteristic impedance and omega is omega equal to 2 pi into f. That is, it is the angular frequency which is equal to 2 pi into your frequency. It is your operating frequency. So, you can replace this by 2 pi f. Now, in the question, it is given that the frequency of operation is 2 gigahertz. So, we have the value of f. We have the value of beta and we have the value of z0. So, just substitute all these values into the equation and find the result. Okay. So, the beta is given by 1 into the calcitic impedance is 100 ohms by 2 into 3.14 into f is 2 gigahertz. That is 2 into 10 raised to 9. And if you solve this, you will get the value as 7.96 nano Henry per meter. So, this is your inductance per unit length. So, for this question, you need to actually study this equation. That is how to find the inductance per unit length for a transmission line. So, the equation is beta is at 0 by 2 pi f or omega, where omega is given by 2 pi into the operating frequency f. So, the correct answer for this question is your option D, which is 7.96 nano Henry per meter. The next question is 4 and 8 feet, that is 2.4 meter parabolic disc antenna operating at 4 gigahertz frequency. The minimum distance required for far field measurement is closest to which of this? A, 7.5 centimeter, B, 15 centimeter, C, 15 meter, D, 150 meter. So, the equation for finding the range or the minimum distance is given by R greater than or equal to 2D square by lambda, where D is the height of the antenna, lambda is the wavelength and R is the range or the minimum distance. Okay, so uh, the distance D is given or the height is uh, given is 2.4 meter antenna. Then lambda is equal to or the wavelength is given by C by F. C is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 and F is given as 4 gigahertz means 4 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. Okay, so we can find the value of lambda, we have the value of D, so you have to just substitute these values into this equation and find the range or the minimum distance. Okay, so if you find the value then it is 3 by 4 into 10 that is 3 by 40 or 0 0.075 meter. Okay, that is you can write it as 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter is the, is your wavelength. Okay, so substitute these values into this equation then 2 into d square means 2.4 square 
by lambda is 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2. So if you solve it, the value of R will be obtained as 153. Okay, so the value of uh, R is obtained as 153. So the value closest to this 153, that is, it is 153 what? Meters, because all the values are in meters. It is 2.4 meter and this is also in meter, right? So the value closest to this distance is 150 meters because it is, this is 153 meters. So the value closest is D, that is 150 meters. So these are the questions which I have included in this video. We will be seeing in the next video with more questions from electromagnetic theory. Okay, so I am receiving a lot of requests to do the questions on subject based and also requests to do previous year questions. So I have planned to do both on side by side. That is some videos I will be doing on the uh, previous year questions and also based on subject wise preparation. At least I will be uploading two or three videos for each subject of electronics. Okay, so uh, if you want to see more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends if it was useful for your preparation. Okay, so uh, keep on watching and thanks for watching.